you just exported your models and notice that suddenly your models miss animations, parts of it are invisible and there are some weird triangles sticking out. Today I will teach you how to fix some of these common exporting issues. Let's first look at animations. You have a bunch of nice animations in Blender, but when you export them, a lot of them are suddenly gone. To fix this, before you export your model, go to Animation. In the editor, type Select Nonlinear Animation or NLA for short. This will give you a menu with these orange bars. Make sure you have armatures selected. Now up here in the dope sheet select an animation. Under armature in the NLA you will see your selected animation. Press this push down button. Now repeat this for all your animations. Select an animation, press the push down button and repeat. It's very tedious, but it gets the job done. Next up, attaching objects to bones. You have this nice model with a head or some other accessory. Something that's not directly attached to the model. In Blender you found a way to make it move with the model. But when exporting it suddenly doesn't do anything. You probably used an object constraint. Unfortunately, just because something works in Blender doesn't mean it will work in game engines. Constraints generally is something you don't want to use. Fortunately, there are a couple ways to do the same in game engines. Let's first talk about the way you can do this in Blender. Then I will show you a way to do this inside Godot. The first method, when you did the body, you probably selected body and armature Press Ctrl P and select that armature deform with automatic weights. If you want your object to deform together with the body, you can do this too. However, I don't want the head to deform weirdly, so instead select with empty groups. This will have the head parented to the armature without having it weighted. Right now, if you go to animation, it won't do anything. What we need to do is select the head in edit mode, press A, make sure everything is selected. Now under properties go to object data properties. Under vertex groups you will see all the bones of your armature. Click on the little arrow and search for the bone you want the object to attach to. In this case it's the head. Select the head and then press assign. Now if you go to animations, you will notice it works. Now let's show you a way inside the Godot engine. When you look at the imported model, you will see that under armature there is a skeleton 3D node with all the bones. And under that the body mesh. However, the head is outside the armature just as a sister node. Naturally, it doesn't follow the animation. What we want to do is attach the head to one of the skeleton's bones. Select the skeleton 3D and look for the bone attachment 3D node. It will give you a yellow triangle saying you will need to select a bone. In the bone name drop down menu select the bone you want, in this case head. Now throw the head model underneath as a child of the bone attachment node. The only thing you may need to do is change the position or rotation. And that's it, it follows the animations. What's great about this method is that the model doesn't have to be part of the main model. You can take a completely unrelated model and have it attached to any bone you want it to. 
This is great if you want, for example, have your character carry a lot of different weapons. Just have a bone attachment node and have it attached to one of the character's hand. You have this nice model, you can see it well and it's nicely textured. Now you export it and it's suddenly invisible. Weirdly the inside is visible. This is because normals aren't facing the right directions. In Blender the first thing you want to do is be able to see what you can't see. With the shading on solid click the drop down. Under options you will see back face calling. As a general practice make sure it is always selected. Select it and now what you will see suddenly parts of the model turned invisible. To better understand why, every face of a model has a front side and a back side. Normally in Blender both are visible. However, usually in games only the front side is visible. Only rendering half will help save resources. Well, it's possible to always show both sides in Godot by disabling the call mode in materials. For performance you only want to do that sparingly. However, it should be noted that front face doesn't necessarily mean outwards facing. If you want to make a room, for example, you only want to see the inside of the room. The outside doesn't need a wall texture. For your model you will have to decide which parts need to be visible and which not. Knowing which side the faces are facing is very important. So what if some parts of the model isn't facing correctly? To fix this in edit mode select that face. Press Alt N and select flip. This will flip the normal. Now do this for all faces that are wrong. Press Alt N and flip the normals. Now you know how to fix the normals. Another general practice thing you should do is when in material preview mode, in material properties go to setting and turn on backface calling. This way even when looking at the textures you can see which sides of the faces are visible. The last thing I want to note about normal facing is if you know how to work with it you can make some really cool effects with it. Right here I have this fire model and as you can see no matter what angle you can always see the white center. This is done by simply turning the faces of the red and yellow fire inwards. This is also how simple outline shaders work. Similarly, this pyramid is clearly solid, yet you can see the fire inside. If you want to become a pro modeler, backface calling is something you should definitely take advantage of. You have this nice model, it's got some holes in it and stuff poking out. But now when you export it, suddenly has these random triangles. This is caused by N-Gons. What are N-Gons? Basically they are faces that are shaped in less than ideal ways. Generally N-Gons are faces with more than 4 vertices. Game engines aren't well equipped for N-Gons. Games make the 3D models as a bunch of triangles, a face with 3 vertices. Which is why if you look at other games models, they are made of only triangles. To fix the model, what you want to do is either turn the N-Gon into quads or triangles. You can do this manually, in edit mode, press K, select a vertex and go to another vertex to make a cut in the model. This is the preferred way of doing it as it is easier to make the models clean and thus it won't cause too much weird lighting issues. However a second not as clean way is 
in export under geometry turn on triangulate faces. This will turn all faces of your model into triangles. This is a quick way, however it may cause some lighting issues, so use it with caution. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video informative. Bye.